Good morning, Kick. It's Friday, and my time in the Netherlands is almost coming to an end. Sadly, there is so much that I will miss about Amsterdam. I will miss the elm trees and the amazing public transportation and my little slivery view of the canal. I'll miss the cafes and the bicyclic abundance and living in an apartment that is older than my country. And those are just the things that I will miss that I can see outside my window. By the way, Hank, if you hear any background noise, that's Mom. Say hi, Mom. Hey, darling. Your mother misses you. Your mother misses you. She'll come all the way to Amsterdam to visit me, but you don't see her in Montana very often. I don't know who the favorite son is. Right, Hank, so a couple notes about your last video. First off, your punishments are very mean, and I will talk more about that when I get back to the States. Secondly, when you had that ice cream truck that was playing sexy back, it reminded me of the one thing that I won't miss about Amsterdam, and that is the soundtrack in the stores. So, Hank, you know how when you're shopping for stuff, they generally pipe music in so that you're happy and you want to purchase goods and services? Right, but when they do that here, they don't use music, they use real music, which is great, but they also use a lot of gangster rap and they don't like edit the lyrics. So basically your experience of buying baby wipes and or shoes is like this. I'm gonna replace all the curse words with the names of British romantic poets. I'm a William Blake gangster, so of course you want my Samuel Taylor Coleridge. You're gonna want to be all up in this William Wordsworth, like, oh, Percy Shelley, oh, oh, Percy Shelley. I'm the Lord Byroning Samuel Taylor Coleridge, William Blake. It's just an unpleasant way to buy diapers, Hank, so I won't miss that, but I will miss a lot. I want to thank all the Belgian and Dutch nerdfighters who came out to events, and I also want to thank the Dutch Literature Foundation for making this possible. In other news, Hank, I was recently on tour in Hogue Vein, file under places that seem made up but aren't, and a nerdfighter gave me this This Star Won't Go Out bracelet, which I've been wearing ever since, because my This Star Won't Go Out bracelet was broken by a member of my household who will remain nameless, although he is quite small. Anyway, Hank, the generosity of this present reminded me to tell you that This Star Won't Go Out bracelets are available at dftba.com. 100% of the proceeds go to benefit This Star Won't Go Out, a foundation that was established in memory of nerdfighter Esther Earle. All the money from This Star Won't Go Out goes to support families who have been affected by cancer. Hank, believe it or not, it's been almost 10 months since Esther died. In that time, we've raised more than $10,000 for This Star Won't Go Out, which I think is pretty awesome. Nerdfight Terra, thank you for your support, and there is a link to get your bracelet in the doobly-doo. Also, Hank, being on tour in the Netherlands has reminded me that you and I are going on tour in the United States when my new, as yet untitled, but soon to be titled, book comes out. Nerdfighters, we really want this tour to be amazing, but we're also not that creative. For instance, Hank, did you know that the probable title of my new novel was stolen from a nerdfighter? As, in fact, was like the central observation of the book. So, thanks, Nerdfighteria! Right, so, but we're not that creative, so we want to know from you, Nerdfighteria, what you would like to see happen. Don't tell us where you want us to go, that's a separate conversation. Just what you would like to see, what you would like to do, what should happen. Also, one last question, Nerdfighteria, would you like it if I read the audiobook? Uh, it's a little bit weird because the book is narrated by a young woman and I am not a young woman so you'll hear my voice being like and then I took off my bra <laughs> I mean I don't she doesn't take off her bra in the book that I can remember but you know whatever like might be a little weird all right Hank I gotta go back to editing DFTBA I will see you on Monday I got the day right nerd fighters <laughs>